Chapter 3. New haircut. I probably should get a haircut tomorrow. <laughs> but it looks like maybe our protagonist got a new one. We'll see, I guess. Ah, this is the uh, scene I use at the end of my videos that you guys see when I thank you for watching. <laughs> this, uh, this photo. He's taking a bus. It looks like he's home. The protagonist. This gives me, like, Pokemon vibes for some reason. Not sure where this thing is plugged in. <laughs> yeah, it's just in the middle of the room. I don't know. I love the humor in this game. I think it's it's funny. This game's definitely funny. Not looking too good. Yeah, no, that black eye is pretty rough. I am more of a shower in the morning type of person. I shower in the morning and at night usually, which is probably not good for my skin. But I, I shower too much for sure. I don't feel like taking a bath. What about you guys? When do you shower? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> Are you more of a morning shower person or a night? Whoa. Why do I see him in the mirror? Hey, mate. Can we talk for a sec? If we have to. These cutscenes are so good, Andy. This is my vibe. My entire vibe. Alright, I'll shut up. You did good back there. I really wasn't expecting us to have to deal with this many setbacks. I wonder if the spirit cell anomaly is causing everyone to behave weirdly. I suppose it's fair to assume that interdimensional imbalances would make people act out. That being said, there are some difficult people out there with very poor judgment and a strong sense of justice. That guy you fought is certainly one of them. He must think you're the one who is causing trouble in Bright City. You have to keep a low profile while I look for the real cul culprit. Sounds good. Whatever. That's the spirit. I knew you'd make a good partner. We're gonna solve this case in no time. You'll be happy to hear that the corrupted part of Bright City returned to normal. For some reason, releasing the goblins set off that mess. Sure, it was totally my fault, but it is bizarre that it happened in the first place. I'll be more careful with the powers I use from now on. Anyway, now that you're settled into the job, it should be okay if I leave you alone for a bit. I've been picking up spirit cell readings all over the island. I'm gonna do some digging. I, uh, I can trust you, right? Oh, I read that perfectly. I reckon the safest thing to do is stick it out at your day job for now. Just try to avoid getting into any more fights. Also, if you run into any goblins, be an absolute babe and catch them for me, yeah? I think that's everything. Thanks for all your help, mate. I'll come get you when I find out more. See you later. Alright, so we gotta go capture some goblins, I guess. But first off to bed. Whoa. What is this? looks like a Game Boy game now. <laughs> I love it. I love this, Andy. This could be the full game and I probably would have enjoyed it. Oh, oh, oh. Let's dance. Oh, it's the guy again. Is he dead? Right. What? This this guy. 
Is that just like a reimagining dream of the scene, basically? Pretty sure. That was an interesting little side game. This game's quirky like that. Not looking too good. <laughs> Oh, I can deposit stuff or withdraw. I still have the cigarette, at least. I guess I'll take out the arcade token. And the cigarette. Yeah, I don't know if I need that stuff, but whatever. What's the item? CD-ROM. You put it in your pocket for later. Interesting. I don't know what that's for. I'm going to save the game real quick and read this note. It's a note. Hey, bait. I forgot to mention this, but I got you a present. It's a CD-ROM. If you hold one of these, you'll be able to perform a new skill. They're all the rage in Bright City right now. Also, just in case you didn't know, if you're carrying too many items and you want to leave them behind, you can store them inside your PC. I have no idea how it works, but someone sure figured it out. Anyway, this has turned into a really long note, so I think it'll end here. Thanks for reading what I have to say. Hope you have a great day. B. There's more. P.S. That last part rhymed. That was a complete accent. I just you flipped the note over. Wanted to make sure you didn't think I did that on purpose. Well, I'm going to stop writing now. Thanks for reading. There's still more. Hey, also, I just wanted to mention one more thing. I noticed you had some dishes that need to be washed, and your oven was a bit dirty as well. So I decided to do a bit of cleaning before I left. I know, I know. Totally not my place. You flipped the note over it again? You've just been such a big help lately, so I wanted to say thanks. Don't worry. I'll get you something extra nice when we're done. Anyway, I'll see you later. Take care. Bye. Okay. Returning to world map. Cool world map. All right, let's go to West City. I guess that's the only place we can really go here. There's a lot of people in line here. Jeez, what are all these people doing here? No big biscuit, probably okay. Would you like to heal your party? Yeah, I'll heal. What the? It's a weird bathroom. There's only two toilets in there. Another safe spot here. It's locked. Okay, so I still can't go that way. Not yet, at least. The heck is this? Weird, dark, creepy corridor. Is that a rat? It's just a rat. Oh, okay. I know what to dodge there then. Wow, he's quick. That's a fast rat. <laughs> Wow, they're weak. I just noticed I only had one bar there. That's interesting. One fortune rock. This is certainly interesting. I'm really glad you decided to check it out, though. Never stop searching for answers. <laughs> We're behind the waterfall there. I don't think there's anything else really here. There's some water over there, though. This must be a really dark cave. Another rat. Oh, he got me again. And I've been stinking with dodging. Got him. <laughs> oh, I missed. Because I went too quick. Alright, practicing my dodging here. Better. Oh, I crit him too there.
I don't think I have a healing item, which is silly, right? But like... Yeah, no. Silly. Heck is going on over there? What's taking so long? I thought you said you could fix it. I said I think I can fix it. We will just have to test it out now. Stay back. This music. Hmm. didn't work. I know it didn't work. Maybe next time you two steal something that does. Maybe you shouldn't lie about being able to fix it. I didn't lie. It's just more complicated than it looks. I know I'll be able to get this working. I just think we need more power. We'll have to figure out something. Maybe we just steal a heap of batteries. Sounds like a plan. Ah. I'll have to work on this some more. Let's head back to the hideout. Alright. You found a rock. You put it in your pocket for later. A rock? An ordinary rock. Okay. Well, I guess at least I found something. What are you doing down here, kid? Can't have you running around looking at things using your eyes. You'll have to work. Speaking of work, I have to step out for a while. Normally I would just close up shop, but uh, we've been very busy the last few days. It pains me to say this, but it looks like you're getting a promotion. If only I had someone else to watch this place instead of you. Did someone just say employment opportunity? That's right. You need someone to complete the mundane tasks the job requires? Look no further than me. Echo. Hold it. I can't believe you, Echo. I thought we were applying together. Uh, we are. They were just talking about hiring. Is someone stealing from the fridge down there? New staff. It was a perfect opportunity. I had to strike while the iron was hot. It shows initiative, you know? I'm not calling you a liar, but I don't believe you. Anyway, up the, uh, please hire me. Hey, so where's Dolus? I thought he was with you. Oh, no. Oh, that's Dolus. What are you doing? Get out of there. What a motley crew. Give us a job and... Fuck you, please. Wow, I love them. They can have the job instead. <laughs> the thing is, I only need one more employee. This will be a very important choice. This could change everything. I absolutely cannot decide. There's just too much pressure. So, I'll make you choose. Haha. <laughs> oh. I like Duelist. I mean, I don't know. I think I'm going to go with him. Do you want to choose the outdoors enthusiast Duelist? This feels like Pokemon where you're choosing your party member. I guess I'll choose Duelist. I, I like him. I like his character design, so I'm going to go with him. Sorry, everyone who wanted me to pick one of the other ones. You chose him? Ridiculous. Weird choice, but okay. You too. Get out of here. Listen up. You have heaps of work to do, and I don't provide training. I expect great things from you. Head out front and make sure you stay here forever. Now! Oh, hello. I'm not sure what to talk about. I gotta think of a voice for him. I think he's kind of like a nerdy guy, actually. Oh, hello. I'm not sure what to talk about. I think his voice is like that. Maybe that's wrong, but I, I he looks a little nerdy to me. All right, so we're gonna save here. And that'll be the end of this episode. Hopefully I can find a space where I can uh, move some of my items out. But we have to apparently go to the front. And I'll be doing that in the next episode. Looks like he already left. So if we go to party. I'm just curious. It still only shows me. But I think he'll be one of my next party members. So see you, for the, see you guys for the next one. Hey guys. Thanks for watching another episode of Knuckle Sandwich. Please drop a like, a comment, and subscribe. It all really helps me. See you guys soon.